How's it going guys? Good afternoon from the boat. It's been a wet and windy day today so I've quickly jumped out. Hopefully it stays clear for a couple of minutes and I'll show you the outside of our home. In case you're new to the vlogs you don't know where or what we live on. This is it. Our little 36 foot Springer narrowboat. This is our baby. Her name is Wanderer as you can see on the side there. I think Lauren's in there doing some work or hiding away. You can just about see her. And the plan for today is to show you how we live minimalistically on this tiny little tin. So as we jump on the back here, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the boat. There's a tour on the channel somewhere. What's happening down there, Loza? I'll quickly take you down, she's a bit busy. What are you up to, Lauren? I am birthday planning. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Being all secretive online. Which gives me the perfect opportunity to say thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. So Surfshark is a VPN or a virtual private network which basically keeps you safe online by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. So whether you're on your phone, tablet or laptop, it helps combat all those big companies that want to steal your personal data and it also protects you from the bad guys online like the cyber criminals and the hackers. One of the main reasons we use Surfshark though is because it allows you to swap the location of your device. So you simply log in, choose your location and boom, suddenly we're browsing from Brazil. And this is good for a couple of reasons. One, because if you're traveling like we do, airlines and hotel websites use different prices for different countries. So you can use Surfshark to make a website think you're in a different country and you may be able to secure yourself some cheaper deals. Another great reason for swapping location is so that when you're finally abroad, you can still log in and watch all your favorite movies and TV shows from home. So in a nutshell, you can protect your identity, keep your device virus free and keep up to date with everything online without having to worry. So Lauren, make sure you got Surfshark turned on when you're buying all my birthday presents. <laughs> so if you'd like to try Surfshark, you can use my promo code CHARLIEPAULY for 83% off and three months for free. All you have to do is hit the link in description. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring the video and we are gonna get on and show you how we live minimalistically in this 36 foot narrow boat. Lauren's feeling sorry for herself guys because she had the jab yesterday. We both had the jab yesterday and she's feeling rough. So she might not be in this vlog too much. But you got me today and we're gonna start off in the kitchen. So as I mentioned, the boat is 36 foot long. That's including the outside. So you've got the front and back, which probably takes it down to about 30 foot inside. So minimalism is not so much a choice, although we are quite passionate about it, but more of a necessity when you're living in such a tiny space. So I'm gonna try and make this not so much a tour. There is a tour of the narrow boat up here somewhere if you wanna go and watch it, but more about the tips and tricks of living minimalistically and how it helps our lifestyle. So rule number one, everything has to have a home. As you can see, the worktops are quite clear. This is our little two hob oven. It's very small, but it does the job for us perfectly. And if we open cupboard number one, look at the organizations. We've got our little jars of nuts, cereal, granola, and our veg basket at the bottom. That is an awful advertisement for a vegetarian's basket. We need to go shopping. <laughs> I think it's big shop today, isn't it? The fridge is empty as well. Oh, I've got to show them that in a minute. How many vegetarians do you know? that don't have any vegetables in the house. But yeah, you get the idea. Organization is key, everything has a home. At the back there is all the extras for when we need to fill things up. And that pretty much is a food cupboard number one. Over here, microwave slots nicely. And this is a mix match cupboard. We've got our smoothie blender, which comes out every day. We've got our slow cooker at the back and then Lauren's protein stuff. <laughs> Not sure that's good for protein, but even that, it comes out, it gets used, and it goes straight back in there. And as soon as it's been used, it gets put back there so we know where it is and we don't lose anything and things do not get cluttered. Almost forgot to show you, space saver. A step and a recycling bin. Coffee pot and condiments. <laughs> Sometimes we live so minimalistically that we just don't even refill the seeds. And bottom cupboard, this is bad. This is a bad example of minimalism. Lauren's got a mug hoarding problem. That's not hoarding! <laughs> we've got about 10 mugs for two people, but we've got just the right amount of plates and bowls, coffee, and again, a bit of organisation with the jars, pasta and rice at the back, and tins along the side. I don't know if this is a good example of minimalism or just OCD, because everything's very well organised. Let's see if we've got any chocolate left in the chocolate house. Of course not, Lauren's eating it all. Right. And a bit of wine left over from Valentine's Day. I dread to look in here, but tiny fridge freezer to fit under counter on the narrow boat. Our little freezer, <laughs> our little fridge. Oh no, that's not so bad. Organized, I'd say. Coming down into the next room of the boat, 
I think what most people struggle to deal with on narrowboats is obviously the storage space. So come in with minimalism. Where do you put your clothes? We've got a little walk-in wardrobe. We left out the shower on this boat because there was just not enough space for everything. So we shower at the gym. But this is where the fights are caused. We've got five hangers each. Usually I end up with four. Lauren takes over six. I've got my shoe storage at the top. Lauren's at the bottom. And then we've had to just make do here with, I've got a little pants and socks area there couple of bags and a hoover at the back. And Lauren's got her knickers and socks drawers on the TV cabinet. You're not going in there. <laughs> so generally, we have a one in, one out rule. So we've got maximum space possible on the boat. And if we're gonna buy more clothes, some of the clothes have to go, which we are usually pretty good at. Lauren, you do well at that, don't you? She's always shopping on Vinted. Yeah, so basically I have, I've sold loads of clothes on Vinted. I have my Vinted balance and I don't ever go into my bank account. I just use my vintage balance. And with everything she sells, she's allowed one more item. Or if she buys an item, she has to get rid of one. I'm very disciplined. <laughs> I'll quickly show you our little toilet. Nothing to do with minimalism. Although I suppose it is. That's a very minimalistic bathroom. It's a tiny porta potty. So that gets emptied once or twice a week down at the cesspit, depending on how much time we spend on the boat. And even our products, we have one shelf each. And unfortunately, that is all the room we have. So we have to fit everything on there. So aside from the hangers, our main storage, well, our only storage really here are these two cupboards. So imagine in your normal house, how much space people have for their clothes. This is where it has to be really organized. I've got one cupboard. Lauren's got one cupboard. I've got my shorts and bottoms over here and I've got my folded t-shirts and jumpers on that side. So if you're watching these vlogs, people often give me stick for wearing the same fleece, the same jumper. It does get washed, don't worry, but I literally own about five or six t-shirts and probably four or five jumpers. So I'm definitely not a fashionista. I do not shop for fashion. I shop for practicality. What are you saying? What are you laughing at? Whereas me, I'm a fashionista. Definitely, especially with them socks. <laughs> <laughs> Again, showing you that everything has a home and has to fit perfectly. Really made use of the space there with kindling, logs, fire starters, and even a cloth to use our fire in the winter. Fire starter! Fire starter! <laughs> See what's happening there. I'm so sorry, I won't bet on it anymore. <laughs> but you wait till your birthday, mate. Okay, birthday's gonna be good. New vlog coming soon. <laughs> Maybe I should take this minimalism to the next level and just minify having a girlfriend. Just don't get, just get rid of her. I don't have more space in my little minimalistic tiny home. Okay, next tip, serious tip is space saving. So we shopped for ages to get this sofa from Maid. We struggled to get it through those doors, but it fits perfectly for when we want to watch telly. And as you can see, it doubles out and it flips out and it just about settles as a sofa bed. If you're looking for a tiny sofa for a tiny home, made.com is really good. Another tip whilst we're on the sofa chat, not really minimalism, but it does relate to the way we live, is shopping quality so that you don't have to shop quantity. So basically it's a tip we picked up when we were in Finland where they will spend much more on a product to begin with but they'll buy something that's quality and it's going to last 10, 20 years and it's done. You don't have to keep swapping and changing things out. It's not going to break after a couple of years and you buy something else. So although we're not big spenders, something we've learned over the years is definitely to invest into things that are going to provide great quality. Another example here of how everything has a home. If you imagine the average person's house, how much storage and space they have. They have things just spread out all over the home. They might have corners of rooms that they can put bookshelves and stuff like that. Well, this is our whole living area right in front of me where I put my feet out. So we've got our games box, our fruit basket. This is our little work area where we've currently got our laptops and Lauren's studying stuff. Our electronics box for our photography gear and camera gear. And of course, our laundry basket and TV. And the grand finale, as Lauren is displaying perfectly, is the space saver, the multi-purpose bed that flips up. Stay lively, Lauren, we've got five more minutes left on the vlog. <laughs> flips up into a table in the middle and the table drops down and makes into the bed, which I'm not gonna bother doing now, but I've got an old bit of footage that I'll talk over as I show it. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but in case you haven't seen one of these before, once you rip off all the sheets, the two backs of the sofas make up the middle of the bed and then they get pulled out and put back against the wall. The table then comes back up that sits on the two lips and two poles simply slot in the floor and slot in the table and we have got a full sofa set up. And then underneath the sofas, if we pull the cushions right off, we've got an extra bit of storage where we keep our cases and anything that we do not need daily access to. So that is about it for our little tiny home and how and why we have to live minimalistically. I actually Googled minimalism 
before I made this vlog and it looks completely different to this. The average thing I saw on Google was empty apartments, you know, one pen, one pencil, all that kind of thing. But I still feel that we fit into the minimalistic lifestyle category purely because of the amount of space we have and we do have to keep things to a very bare minimum. So on that note, if you've enjoyed this vlog, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you like narrowboat or tiny living content, there's plenty of playlists. We've got a narrowboat playlist, we've got our van content, our little camper van also is very minimalistic. And we've even got an unusual hotel series where we go and stay at unique accommodations around the UK. And I hope to develop more of those videos as the summer rolls in. Also, don't forget to check out Surfshark VPN and you can hit that link in the description to get my discount. So a bit different and a bit more formal than our usual videos. If you're already subscribed to us, how you doing? We'll be back to the normal content soon. For now, we'll catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one.